Hey everybody, this is Mark. Uh, I'm going to do a quick video here for you on how to add transitions to CyberLink PowerDirector 12's new multicam designer. It's a really cool piece of software. I've been waiting for this to come out. It makes it really easy to do music video style videos, but uh, the one thing that was lacking for me was the ability to add transitions because if you afterwards if you try to add transitions it throws the whole video out of sync so I figured out a way to do it and I'm going to show you how to do it yourself okay let me say I need to give props to a guy named Bob Kovacs for this technique he has a YouTube video that taught me how to do transitions using a overlay technique to do the same type of editing which is a lot more tedious but he figured out a really clever way to do transitions without affecting the sync or timeline of the video and I kind of thought about that technique when I was trying to figure out how to do transitions using the PowerDirector's multicam designer. Okay really quick I'm going to show you the multicam designer just because it's so cool. I'm going to grab these four videos right here and I'm going to open the multicam designer and it will pull those four videos in. Here we go and you've got the four videos here and then you've got a preview screen you can't see it all right now I'll fix that in just a second okay so I've got my uh, multicam designer set up here with four videos here's the preview screen I've aligned my four videos I've got music playing so all I do is hit record and click on the video I want it to be currently playing it's really cool Go back to the, this one. Go back to this one. Anyways, I just wanted to show that because I think that's so cool. Such a cool tool. Then once I do that, I just hit OK. And now it has dropped it down here. It opened back up the regular editing setup. And it's dropped it down here so I now have what I just did in the regular editing sweet okay now let's put some transitions on it okay so the first thing we gotta do is we need to copy this video down into the overlay track so we do that and hit copy come down and select the overlay track and come in oops and then just pasted that in here okay that's the first step now the next thing I need to do select the first track here and I'm gonna remove it remove and leave gap okay I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off because I don't even want to see this so what I need to do is I need to create the coming into this video here from here so if you select this video and you get the little handle here, I'm going to drag that forward. Now if I'm, I'm looking while I do that at this part clip here, this is going to be my fade in. That's the part I want. So I've drug that forward. Now I'm going to bring this back and get it to snap right in there. I'll come down here I'm going to split this clip. Now here's my fade in clip that I, I was working on. I'll bring it up and drop it right there and it's going to say, what do you want to do? I'm going to say crossfade. Now what it's done is I've added, see what happened was you need an extra piece of video so that this clip here can fade in. So I've just added that. Okay, so I've made my preview window bigger here so you can see this and I'm going to drag this back to the beginning. I'm going to hit, make sure I'm in movie mode, I'm going to hit play. Okay, here's our transition see that crossfade and it didn't run out of sync so that gave us a perfect crossfade so all I gotta do is do that same technique to every clip okay so now I want to continue on with this let's say I want to put a crossfade on every one of these edits so what I need to do is I need on this clip I need an extra piece of it fading in from this clip so that I'm gonna get down here get that from down here I'm going to go to this clip and I'm going to remove it because we just used it for the previous part. I'm going to remove and leave gap. Okay. Now I've got this clip here. 
I'm going to drag it out. I'm looking at the top clip. Well, I didn't get it there. Come on. All right, there we go. I got it. I'm looking at the top clip up there, dragging it out. I'm seeing how much of a fade in I want here. So, okay, that's good. Now I've dragged that out. I'm going to bring this back. I'm making a pointer where I'm going to cut that bottom clip. There we go. I'm in there. So I'll come back down here on this and I hit split clip. Now I've got my little piece here that I want. Oops. And I bring it up and let it snap to the beginning and then you select crossfade. So now if I select over here, whoop, there we go. Now you can see that crossfade. Okay, so now I've gone through and I've added a fade in to every one of these clips. Okay, let's check it out. And it's really sweet. You know, I think the uh, crossfade, especially with that sharp timing, just really makes a classy video. Okay, so a cool feature here is you can now, you've got all these fade-ins you've created. If you want, you can go in and grab any of your transition effects and drop them on there. Let's see. Let's go back here. Play this video. And you'll see coming up here, you get the broken glass. So that's really cool. I mean, that opens it all up. You can put special effects on all your clips and special transitions on all your transitions. Go crazy. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you out. I think it's a really neat and a simple little thing to do that, to me, just opens up Multicam Designer to create videos like I've always wanted to create them easily. Thanks for watching. See you later.